Here at the Sunshine on the Green, you'll find classic John Deere tractors and classic John Deere implements. And Drew, discount from right here in Florida, you brought a pretty nice little setup. Tell us about the tractor and what you're pulling. Yeah, so right here we have a 1951 John Deere MI that left the factory John Deere Green, which is pretty rare because these tractors were typically painted orange or yellow for highway mowing. This, un this tractor particularly had uh, lift arms uh, deleted on it as an option and it just had the rear PTO. So what we have behind it is a 1960 Gyromore uh, 127. It's five foot wide. And this was actually really cool that I found it because the MI did not have any hydraulic ports to the rear. So this was all manual adjustment. It has two cranks, um, one for the, uh, the draw bar and one for the rear uh, axle. So would these two pieces have been together back in the day or, or why have you put them together? Uh, the mower's a little later model, um, but being that from the stories that I were told, this tractor would have been used in orchards and, and groves um, and it would have just either pulled a, a wagon or a mower like this. Um, there are other companies building uh, bush hogs like that, but this is one of the earlier John Deere ones. Of course, the John Deere M was a pretty handy, pretty popular tractor back in the day. How is the MI different than uh, the Ag M that was put out there? So the industrial models, they, they lowered the front end by shortening the front uh, knees on the axle, and they actually rotated the final drives forward. And by doing that, it created a tighter turning radius. Um, all the MIs also came with a solid steel front axle, so they were um, heavier duty for that roadside mowing. And then this one is outfitted, uh, I see the muffler is uh, on the downside, it's got a pretty big grill on the front. Tell us a little bit about some of those different things. Yeah, so, you know, I talked to a few guys in Michigan who actually grew up, you know, running these style tractors, and they told me that, you know, they would have put a grill guard off an MC crawler on the front. Um, they would have ran the orchard exhaust, which is what you see. And um, also they would have ran implement front tires and diamond tread rear tires. What's it like to drive this MI? Uh, this one's great. This is probably the nicest tractor that I have. Um, uh, PJ with Rowdy Restorations did the restoration on it and it is by far the best driving M that I've ever driven. What is it uh, that you like about the M uh, as far as driving, using it, that kind of thing? Why is this a tractor that you said, you know what, I really want this one? You know, I started with a regular M, like a standard M, and PJ redid it for me. And uh, then I seen an MT, and then all of a sudden I seen an MI, then I seen all these different variant colors. But I like the size of them. I like that they're kind of the underdog because a lot of guys can't get on them. They're really difficult to get on, which later in the 40 models, they, they uh, address that situation. But it's just a, a unique tractor that a lot of guys don't put a lot of effort in in the collecting, and and I enjoy it. You mentioned the restoration of this tractor and this mower. Uh, were they in pretty rough shape when uh, when you got a hold of them? Surprisingly, they weren't. PJ had to do some work to the deck. It it had no rot in it, but you know to get it looking like glass, he did have some uh, put a, he had to put a little effort into it, a little elbow grease. The tractor was actually um, yellow. Somebody painted it yellow thinking that was what it was supposed to be. And um, when the guy that I purchased it from went to go replace the clutch in it, after it was restored, all this green paint underneath, and that was the original color on all the castings. And, you know, come to find out, it was factory green. Yeah, why do you think that was? It's an, an industrial tractor. Usually you would expect it to be yellow. Why do you think this one came out green? So it, uh, a farmer ordered, or grove owner, orchard owner ordered it, ordered it, and they wanted it ag green for their farm. So, you know, which makes it cool. So, yeah, John Deere would kind of give you give you what you wanted, right? Yeah, if they were they were willing to sell tractors, so <laughs> whatever it took. How do you like having uh, this tractor and some more in your collection here at the Sunshine on the Green here at Florida Flywheelers Park? Um, it's great. I, this is the first show that I've actually brought a lot of stuff to. Um, it's nice to share, you know, our uh, passion with other passionate collectors and, 
you know, answer questions that people have and that, you know, the colors always throw people off and they always, it, it brings conversation and, um, you know, and then you start talking and you never know. Someone might say, well, I got this and then they want to sell you something or you guys make a deal and that's how you find stuff, you know. Now we look at this uh, 1951 MI and I'm guessing that it's, I'm pretty sure actually, that it's a good bit older than you are. What made you want to get into collecting John Deere tractors and making them look like new? Well, it started with a truck. I bought a 1951 Ford flatbed F6 and um, with a flatbed on it. And I had a, um, an economy tractor that I found on our farm up in Long Island. And uh, I wanted the truck to put the tractor on. Well then, my favorite color is green, so of course I had to buy a John Deere, and we actually use new John Deere equipment through our, with our business. So I, I bought the truck, bought a tractor, and then I wanted a John Deere, and then it grew from there. Kind of snowballed. Big snowball, avalanche. <laughs> What's your favorite part about collecting John Deere tractors? It's the hunt, you know, just, uh, you know, I don't hunt animals, nothing against it. I've just never been into the sport, but you get that same gratification, you know, when you find something rare. Hey, Drew, thanks for sharing the story of your John Deere MI and the mower. Appreciate it. Thank you for having us, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to film us. Absolutely. Drew Discount from Palm Beach County, Florida. He didn't start out collecting tractors, but he's got the fever for John Deere now. Thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If green is your scene, be sure to check out these other classic stories. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep those classic tractor stories rolling.